the finished one it is it goes in easily um, all you have to do is come in here and just rotate it sideways and it will push right down into place all right now something you do need to decide is where you're planning on putting your servos if you're doing a cockpit i suggest that you go ahead and plan on using your servos right here this this is a good size servo tray it will be fitted underneath the second seat that will be in here so you can put your elevator and your um, rudder servo in here and and be able to hook it up and then put your seat in place and, and it all should work out for you but anyway once you got that first uh, floorboard in uh, we have a secondary floorboard that goes to the back all right, um, what it, 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 it will fit right over that area I just show, have just shown you. And if you're going to use servos, you have to figure out where you got to cut it out so you can set your servo down in and run your screws in. Or you can just alleviate this piece and just put the back piece leaving that open because there will be a, a chair that goes over most of that area. But it would uh, look a little cleaner if you could cut that out to set your servo in. Anyway, uh, this is cut flat. All the way around, you see where I put the blue line. You're cutting this flat, then you're gonna leave the elevation here. Uh, there's two little um, uh, parts of the fuselage that uh, come out. If you cut about a, um, it's about an eighth to three sixteenths inch in by about a, a little over an eighth inch wide. Now the hard part is getting it in underneath this wire here. If you're careful and you bend it, you can get it in there, but it's really hard. You may just have to remove the screws and slide this in place. I do not cover up this piece here. What, we, what I'm going to suggest is just prime that area and paint it the, the color of the interior. But if you do remove all four screws, you can lift this up and slide this in place. Okay, uh, the next is the fuselage sides. Um, we're going to have uh, the left the left hand side let's back this up you uh, will have a, a flap control here I, I also I have a wheel that goes on I will have a wheel that goes on that uh, all this was open framework so I'm trying to simulate that and cover up the actual structure of the airplane so anyway um, you can see that um, we're removing all the sides we'll clean this all the way out um, now up here we're going to take well, actually, I didn't, sh I didn't show this all the way. You come up here and you take all of this out, uh, this line here, take it out all the way up and go straight across. You end up having to come back a little further, but, but I want you to work your way back there as needed. So if you'll just come up even with this uh, square piece here, the whole reason I put it in there, and cut that out, um, that will get you in and up underneath the dash because this goes forward. All right, now we're going to leave this top on here for a little bit and we're going to hit and remove this. So it's going to be one flat piece all the way around. Uh, you remove this area, all of it, so it goes over the uh, bulges that I have in the floorboard. So we, we'll get all that done. Um, when you get it done, it looks kind of like this. This is my first one I did and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put a new one in. I'm still trying to decide um, if you'll slide it up there. You can see where you need to make notches. Um, I have made a notch um, for this stringer right here, uh, for the wire here, and this this one. Let's see if you can see it. Okay, if you look here, I, I've made notches, and you can take your piece and lay it in here and see where you need to make those notches. You just slide down there and then mark them. And, and I think what I'm going to do is suggest that you come in here and cut this pretty close and slide this in place. And see, it, it, it'll slide right over and glue it down and glue it using a short uh, flange and then resheat this whole area with some maybe ABS that I include with the kit and it'll make it, make it stick a little bit better. Um, 
anyway, I'm still trying to figure that. But once you get the sides um, cut out down here and along, you can start trial fitting it until you get it um, cut to the way you need it. Uh, I did make a lip here. That needs to slide in behind this wire here. It's a tight fit. I take it and slide it up front. I just bend it and slide it in behind there before I push it down into place. I see that lock that goes into place pretty easy and all you have to do is uh, glue it along the bottom and then glue it up top. Now one other thing I will suggest that you do is take some um, quarter inch balsa, some lightweight balsa and come in here and if you'll you can look down in here and see between the uh, structure of the plane where it sticks out. If you down towards the bottom will make uh, t take this and cut it where it fits in between each one of those and have it glue it in where it's flush with the front of each one of those uh, uh, intersections or the, or, or the piece of wood that sticks out. Then when you stick this in you'll have a, uh, a hard piece to push that up against and glue it to and it'll give you a little bit more stability without adding a lot of weight. Okay so um, once you get this piece in, the second side is done the exact same way. Um, now this one, I, I kind of uh, fake the door on the side. You're still going to cut the, um, these bulges out and remove all of the flashing all the way around. And you'll still have to cut your, not still have to cut your notches out. And this one goes on the other side. All right, um, once, once you move to the back, you have uh, the same setup. Once you get your floorboard in, um, you're going to cut. Let's see here. All right. You got a right and left hand. You're going to remove the flashing all the way around. I left this, a, a little piece here that will slide right up behind this piece of wire here. You have to, all you have to do is take your finger and put, pull, pull towards you a little bit to slide it in behind it. Um, you're going to remove Right behind this uh, stringer here, you're going to remove this piece. I, I, I made it elevated so you can see. And you're going to remove that so it comes up on this step. And this slides just right in place. If you'll take your finger, like I said, and just push that um, stringer out just a tad. Let me see if I can pop this in place. Oh, oh, I got the wrong one. I got it on backwards. Let me get the other one. All right, this is the correct one. But now you'll have your floorboard in there. Okay. You can see that that slides right into place. Now, like I said, your floorboard will be in. You need to put your stringers in there, like I was telling you, to have something to push that back against and glue it to. So, so I mean, you could actually glue it to the floor, but you have to hold it in place. And if you put that piece of wood at the back, uh, once the floorboard's installed, it will make that easy to glue to. Anyway, then you come around here and install the second side. Now that would install all the basic parts of the uh, floor and the sides. Um, I'm gonna get the stuff set up to do the rear. Um, I'm gonna make a gun, make a piece that comes in here to hold the uh, magazines for the um, upper gun. Um, one other thing I want to show you. Uh, I showed you where I had cut off the dowels here. Um, that's, that, that's the easy part. Now, one thing you do have to do, and like I said, pre-glue um, pre, uh, glue everything before you start cutting. Anyway, I brought this piece down and I just continued a straight line and cut it because there was a little uh, flange there. And then I cut this flush with the uh, face here. So now all this does, it comes and it slides right down in place. This will be painted and glued in place. So when you remove the top, you will be removing the dash. All right, um, I'm gonna go get a couple more parts together and then we'll move along from there.